Hello everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Can somebody confirm I am audible? Uh, hi, Moit. Yes, we can hear yeah, you. Um, uh, thanks everyone for joining this session. Uh, so we'll be conducting a session on Oracle Cloud today. And along with me, uh, Mr. Moit is there. Um, he'll be the instructor for Oracle Cloud for you. Uh, overall, he is having 12 plus years of experience in the Oracle technologies and uh, more introduction he will provide from his side. Uh, again, uh, talking about the Learnomite technologies, uh, I hope most of the people already aware about it. But still, uh, uh, let me talk about myself first. I have 10 plus years of experience as a Oracle DB. I'm the founder of uh, Learnomite Technologies and we do provide training on different technologies like Oracle DB, React DB, Golden Gate. And we have started going, uh, giving the training on Oracle Cloud also. So uh, today, uh, uh, Mohit is there with us. Uh, he is having the expertise with the Oracle Cloud and uh, he'll be the instructor for the Oracle Cloud. So I hope you will enjoy this Oracle Cloud technologies. Uh, try to understand this technology because everyone know that uh, how is the importance of Oracle Cloud in the market and everyone is trying to move to the cloud side, right? So based on the interest by showing of the candidates, we started this training. And I hope this will definitely increase the knowledge and it will add one more skill in your skill set. So Mohit, you can take the control and uh, talk about yourself. Um, thank you. Thanks, Ankush. And uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to Learnomate Technologies. So uh, we will be seeing today like uh, how we can uh, move and learn Oracle Cloud Okay, and we can start moving uh, to work as a complete Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So this will be the agenda of today's demo. Like we will be starting off like the objective of the training. Okay, and uh, what we can do, what you can do after this course. Okay, what is the course curriculum? Okay, and what we will see like about cloud computing, why the cloud is important, why uh, the client is preferring cloud over on premises. Okay. Then we will be seeing like uh, what is about Oracle Cloud infrastructure, the complete set of OCA services. Okay, what is the OCA global footprint right now? What is available? Okay, then the OCA region and availability domain concepts. So this is a brief about me. I have 15 plus industry experience into uh, various Oracle technologies like Oracle database, Oracle Fusion, and Oracle integrations, Oracle <coughs> middleware components okay and of like from last five plus years i am completely working on oracle cloud infrastructure uh, helping customers to move from on premises to oracle cloud infrastructure i have trained more than 500 plus students globally into oca okay. i have 11x oca certified with your security and uh, oca professional as well 20 plus implementation and 20 uh, i helped customers to move on OCA, okay. So moving there, all the workloads, applications and databases to OCA. And five plus rating status we are having with a learner globally. So the objective of this training is, it will help you to understand overall services of OCA, okay. What are the services that Oracle is offering in the cloud? You will be able to understand it. Okay, the real world implementation, the training will be all hands on. Okay, we will be covering each and every topic uh, hands on in this training. Okay, it will help you to become the professional OCA architect. Okay. How security works in OCA? That it will help you to deploy workloads on OCA with the best practices. Suppose you are creating any services on OCA. Okay, what is the best practices you should be aware uh, with respect to real time projects. Okay, and build strong knowledge on OCA. How OCA is better than other cloud vendors, like uh, there are cloud vendors available like Microsoft Azure, AWS, Amazon, <clears throat> then Google, Alibaba. These are the cloud vendors. Okay, how it is differentiate with OCA? What are the services which are better in OCA as compared to other cloud vendors? And it will help you to get more job offers followed by more dollars. So this is like the objective of this training. 
after attending this training what uh, can you do uh, it means like what are the certifications you can achieve so as you all know oracle has recently announced the free certification for the three months that is starting from 1st of june to 31st uh, august okay so after completion of this training you will be able to do the certifications and this is the certification path here Okay, that is like OCA 2023 Foundations Associate 1010823 is the code for the certification. The second one is the associate, that is the code for 1007223. And the third one is the professional. So this is the certification path. If you wanted to start your journey as a OCA administrator, okay, you should be certified with all these certifications. Okay, so about OCA training curriculum, Okay, so is you can see on the screen, there are modules which we will be going through. The first will be your introduction to cloud computing. Okay, what cloud computing is? Okay, what is the different services? Okay, what are the cloud vendors? So did we, we will be see in the module one. Module two will be your understanding of OCA infrastructure. Okay, what is world domain? What is availability domain? How, how does this uh, is interconnecting with each other? So it is all with respect to high availability and disaster recovery. We will understand the concept of uh, OCA infrastructure. Then we will be seeing like what is the OCA global footprint? What are the data centers which is opened by Oracle in various uh, regions? We will be seeing the concepts of each and everyone in this module two. Then module three will be like setup of databases on OCA. So it will be covering more into like uh, uh, in the database on OCA, it is uh, differentiated into user managed databases and then autonomous databases. So user manage is like uh, you need to completely manage the databases, uh, just like uh, you are doing on on premises. That is called your database cloud service in cloud DBCS. Here you will be responsible to maintain, to provisioning, to patching uh, for a performance. Each and everything the customer is a, uh, is the customer's responsibility to maintain it. Then next come your uh, autonomous databases, like it comes into three flavors. Autonomous transaction processing, just like OLTP kind of environment. Autonomous data warehouse, uh, we are having just like a warehouse kind of environment, ADW, that is called in uh, OCA, and autonomous JSON database. So all three kind of databases that are present for autonomous databases. Okay, so it's Oracle responsibility to maintain, to patch and uh, uh, to upgrade it to a like higher level okay we don't need to worry that we need to only focus on our business requirement we need to uh, focus on our reports okay we need to uh, focus more into the requirement from the customer from the client okay and there is like an open source databases also mysql and all that is supported by oc so that we will covering into module 3 Module four will be like uh, OCA monitoring, how we can monitor the services in OCI, okay, how we can set the notifications if the CPU of any databases or CPU or memory of any virtual machine uh, going above 80-85% threshold. So how we can set uh, automatic email that will trigger uh, into our email box. Then module five, again, it's uh, OCA IAM understanding, okay. So how we can create groups, users, policies, okay, how we can give access, how we can write a policies and give the granular level access to the person. Suppose there are uh, persons who are into uh, database team, okay, and uh, we are having L1, L2, L3 kind of concept in uh, our team, okay, and we want to give access like that, okay, so we need to write policies. Suppose for L3 level, we can give him uh, to manage access so that they can create database, they can maintain, they can patch. Okay, for L1, we can give just a read only. So we can give like verb like to read here. Okay, so likewise, we can create policies, we can create a groups, we can attach the policies to the groups and we can add the user in the respective groups according to the rules and responsibilities. Then module six will be uh, setting up your network components where we will be seeing how to create a virtual cloud network here. Okay. Then we will be dividing that virtual cloud network, the bigger set of networks into VCN, into subnets, like there will be like public and private subnets, okay. Then we will be creating various gateways like internet gateway, NAT gateway, service gateway, dynamic routing gateways, 
okay that help you to uh, uh, access the virtual machines in the databases over internet so this we will be seeing here we will be also seeing the peering between two vcns over a same region or a different region that is called your local peering gateway and remote peering gateway again we will be seeing like what is the difference between your security list and network security groups okay that is like uh, where you will open the ports where you will open from particular ip okay suppose for databases we need to open 1521 port okay and for autonomous it is 1522 for ssh it is 22 so where we will open the ingress and egress kind of rules we need to set up here so in the networking we will be covering then the customer connectivity like how we will connect to the oracle cloud for your on premises databases so there are three options like over a public internet okay the second one is your site to site vpn that is again a free service from oracle and the third one is your, your fast connect that is a costlier product but uh, we need to uh, engage like, like the fast connect provider to move all all the workload that is running on on premises then again the set module 7 is again talking about the setup application and high availability suppose you are having a web server running on top of your web logic server how you can achieve uh, the high availability okay so if the server went down for any reason okay so someone from your team has been down so still the application should be available 100% to the customer okay so that we will be seeing how we can set up the high availability kind of environment in oci then the tagging is like one of the services in oci how we can tag the various resources which we will be creating in oci again the compute services okay we can create a virtual machine okay we can create a bare metal instances how we can uh, install the application on the virtual machine there will be uh, various kind of images supported on oci like uh, oracle linux autonomous linux ubuntu cent os windows server 2012 16 19 okay and you can also bring uh, other operating system which is not there in oci but you can create a custom image and you can bring that custom image into oci and you can spin up a virtual machine using that custom image so that option is also supported in oracle cloud infrastructure then the various understanding uh, it's related to oracle storage okay so oracle storage is supporting uh, various kind of storage like your oracle uh, object storage that is again uh, helping us to upload your application related logs your database backups you can upload okay you can you can set up like uh, on premises kind of uh, environment okay you are running your on premises environment and you can moving your backup to the uh, oracle object storage that kind of flexibility is there then uh, for e business suite okay we are having a filed shared storage okay in which we can share the storage between multiple servers okay and there is like a boot volume and block volume uh, concept like where we are having a uh, like block volume and boot volume concept like where we are having a kind of uh, concept like where we can place our application data and in the block volume and where we can run the operating system from our boot volume okay we can take all the backups and we can schedule the backup policies everything in that then again uh, we can also manage the cost in oci so whatever services we are creating in oci okay we can see we can analyze the cost as uh, like uh, uh, at the compartment level or at a, like uh, like the services level okay so we can manage the cost on our own so if we don't require any kind of services we don't require any kind of resources here we can simply go and delete it or we can terminate the services so that is like we can reduce the cost in cloud say and the last one is your bonus module like uh, how we can configure terraform and how we can uh, write the terraform code okay so terraform is a devops tool which will help us to automate the provisioning task on the cloud okay so we will be taking the introduction to the terraform and the basic thing like how we can create a virtual machine or like network kind of setup in terraform about oracle cloud infrastructure okay so basically it's cloud computing is just like uh, taking a house on rent okay a car on rent or a computer on rent okay so the cloud provider is oracle okay we are purchasing we are taking something on rent okay suppose application you wanted to run for 5 months okay so uh, in our earlier days in our on premises kind of environment okay uh, it, it's like we need to take approval we need to purchase uh, 
the hardware a server and everything then we need to install in a data center we need to make all the connections all the networking so okay, there will be specific teams which will be helping us to create and configure the things then we will uh, again uh, install the operating system and then uh, install the various uh, softwares and all so it will take uh, like a week or something like that okay it will take some time but in cloud it will hardly take like 5 to 10 minutes to spin up a virtual machine okay and then you can install whatever application server you wanted to uh, install so that is the benefit of the cloud again it, it's like in the it world like you can uh, you can use everything on rent such as hardware compute storage ram and everything okay so you only pay for the amount of time you use those service okay and release them when it is not required suppose you wanted to run your website for three months only okay so after completion of three months you can just terminate the servers okay and then you can release the instances again to the oracle so that you can uh, save your amount here okay so various cloud vendors exist in the world who can provide the resources on rent okay and again the cloud providers is responsible to maintain everything on your behalf such where it's the oracle responsibility here because oracle is the cloud provider okay so it's oracle responsibility to maintain all the hardware compute power everything uh, whatever it is in our existing uh, data center okay so they need to update they need to patch everything uh, on our behalf so cloud computing characteristics like what how, how cloud computing is important here so if you can see here it's a self service okay so we can spin up uh, like whatever instances we want suppose you want 10 virtual machines 20 virtual machines 100 virtual machines okay even i work for a client where we have 600 plus virtual machines running on the uh, oracle console okay so we can spin up the instances as many as we want okay we can manage it instances suppose for 10 virtual machines you want to install web logic server suppose 10 virtual machines you want to install apache server for testing or something so you can manage everything for your side okay and we can scale up or scale down okay so any virtual machine who is having like 10 o cpus okay and if workload increases you can again scale up the configuration of the virtual machine and after workload decrease you can again uh, bring down the to the original configuration so so that is the characteristic like we are having in the cloud Elasticity, as we discussed, like scale up and scale down. Okay, just for an example, uh, we are having an Amazon Big Billion series. At the time, like uh, the number of users, the workload on the servers will be more, right? So we can scale up the uh, server configuration when it's required. And uh, when the load will be normal, we can again scale down to the back to the original configuration. Okay. Then multi-tenant, like uh, it is shared infrastructure, okay, it's secure and isolated. So there are services which will be uh, dedicated. We can take it and shared infrastructure also, like it will be shared among some multiple customers. Then the cost management, like we can analyze the cost, okay, which service is taking how much cost. Okay, so we can save the cost, uh, we can analyze and we can see, we can track the consumption of each and every resource according to the compartments or according to the various environments. We can segregate the cost based on that. And pay per use. So pay only for the uses, whatever you are paying, with whatever you are using here, just you need to pay uh, for that uses only. Suppose you are not working from evening six to morning six, okay, so you can just stop the instance and again in the morning when you will be in office you can again bring up the virtual machine on the application server and then you can again work so that that is why you can you save the cost on the cloud so this is like why cloud is important it is highly scalable secure it's flexible like we can scale we can auto scale whatever you want so it's flexible according to our requirement okay it's highly available services suppose you wanted to make like a uh, like a hundred percent of uh, availability to the customers so we can achieve that also using uh, region availability domain fault uh, domain kind of concept here and lower cost that is other benefit of the cloud here so these are the existing cloud vendors okay as you can see on the screen like oracle cloud azure salesforce google cloud alibaba cloud liquid <coughs> web so these are the existing cloud vendors there are many more so these are the cloud service models okay if you can see on the screen the extreme left okay where we are having on-premises environment 
okay we are the we are responsible to maintain each and everything in like we just start from your networking okay so if you are placing any uh, <coughs> placing any order uh, the hardware and all the servers will be come into your data center then you will to uh, set up the network storage server you need to make sure the virtualization and like your operating system you need to install middleware softwares to support the java and all runtime environments then your application uh, databases all you need to manage all you need to uh, apply the patches you need to maintain the security fixes the packages everything you need to maintain okay so when cloud comes into the picture okay so there are three service models here okay so infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service okay so you can choose based on the requirement suppose you want to take more control okay or like you are having a one application which is more into microsoft site okay which is like dotnet based application someone has created okay so you want to take more control over os operating system okay you want to install your java and everything or dotnet whatever it is okay so you can go with infrastructure as a service where you will be spinning up the virtual machine okay based on the operating system you will choose okay so it's oracle responsibility to match uh, to maintain the networking storage server virtualization operating system everything but it's your responsibility to maintain the middleware runtime database and applications and all in the infrastructure as a service okay for platform as a service only the database and applications will be your responsibility rest other will be managed by the cloud provider in in the software as a service everything will be completely managed by your vendors that is your cloud provider you just need to worry about your data okay and your business just like uh, g for an example your gmail okay you don't know like what kind of uh, web server what kind of uh, database the gmail is having okay you are not maintaining that kind of thing like you are, you just have to maintain your uh, inbox so that is like uh, the software as a service comes into the picture where customer don't want to maintain any kind of infrastructure okay so they can go and uh, choose the software as a service so these are the services uh, cloud service models uh, which is differentiate like what comes under is what comes under pass what comes under saas so oci like a second generation so in 2017 oci comes up with a uh, gen 1 now it is like gen 2 cloud which is designed to build and run a wide range of applications and the services in high available environment okay so oci offers high performance compute capability capabilities okay so includes your physical hardware storage capacity okay and a flexible overlay virtual network here that is securely accessible from your on premises network so this is the complete set of oci services it we will be learning okay is you can see here there are four to five services showing developer services applications analytics governance and administration databases data and artificial intelligence in infrastructure so again what are the services under that section you can see here in infrastructure as a service there will be compute section which will cover your bare metal virtual machines gpus hpus everything containers os vmware your storage your networking so all comes into infrastructure as a service where you will be maintaining all this then your data in ai will be like big data ai services and messaging services database will be your oracle databases which is again into atp adw dbcs vbdb exadata exadata customer services and exadata clouded customer then again these are the open source databases then application includes your oic oracle integration cloud your oracle saas platform erp human capital management supply chain management and all it includes then these are the some developer services which include uh, your apex services like your vbcs your infrastructure as a code like you can write a terraform scripts and you can uh, provision the infrastructure with the help of terraform then analytics will be your oracle analytics cloud and fusion analytics then governance and administration there will be iam user policies you can write uh, the policies and attach to the groups there are security related waf cloud guard vault data safe these are the services in the in terms of security and observability like the login monitoring services from oracle so these are the just complete a uh, set of oci services which is present in the oci environment this is like a oci global uh, footprint okay so where they have opened their data center okay so this is the latest image like uh, from march 2023 
okay if you can see there are commercial there are commercial plan and there are government data center open by oracle okay so this is on the screen so if you can see in the india they are having two data centers one in mumbai and second one is hyderabad so these all are the regions okay and we can choose the region where we want it to open our cloud account and where we can deploy our set of services so like the region like uh, which we will be choosing like where we want it to open okay so region is just like where in which country we want to open our account suppose in india we wanted to open uh, our cloud tenancy okay so there are total 38 regions as of january 2023 okay and the region is composed of one or more availability domains okay so just for an example if we choose region as a india okay so india is having two availability domain one in mumbai okay another one in hyderabad so take an example availability as a data centers so availability domains are isolated from each other okay fault tolerant and very unlikely to fail simultaneously so why why availability domain comes into the picture because availability domains are just to provide a high availability solutions to the customer okay it's very unlikely like uh, the like uh, availability domains which is in the region okay all the availability domain fails at the same time okay it's very unlikely so we are having in india there are two availability domains one in mumbai and, and one is in hyderabad so for any reason if mumbai availability domain is not available still our applications and databases can run from the hyderabad data center so that is the feature we are having uh, we that is the offering from oracle we are getting it okay so many of the regions are having three availability domains and some of like very few are having like two or one availability domain so oracle uh, is in progress to making it three availability domain for all the uh, uh, regions then in availability domain there are fault domain okay so in mumbai also they are having uh, three fault domain in a same data center okay just to provide any kind of uh, fault tolerance capability okay so each ad contains three fault domains okay so it is distributing instances so that instances are not on the same physical hardware within a single ad any failure at a hardware level or maintenance at a compute level doesn't affect the instances in other fault domain so the 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 only use of fault domain it, it will uh, protects you again the unexpected fault hardware failure suppose any server running on a single hardware machine okay for unexpected reason it got failed still you have created multiple server on multiple fault domain so your application and your databases can be run from the uh, another hardware so that is just a relationship between your uh, region availability domain okay if you can see on the screen just like that we are having a grouping of like region availability domain as a data center and grouping of your hardware in a single data center i wanted to just brief you about uh, let me take it to the oracle cloud console okay so that you will get an overall idea like how oci console looks like and what are the services we will be going through here okay. so if you can see here i already logged into my oracle cloud account okay this is created under india region okay the, we can see the various regions where we can uh, create account like this is australia is brazil canada and these are the various region which is supported by oci we can choose any 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 region and we can uh, create our own account okay so if you can see here uh, this is the compute section which we are will be creating the virtual machines we can configure auto scaling and all things here okay and this os management feature which is just to manage the security packages cves vulnerabilities and everything we can manage from here this is the storage section where we will be getting a block storage or uh, object storage and file storage okay, which will be used for various purposes for various applications here we will be setting the vcn okay your customer connectivity the subnets gateways and everything will be uh, we will be setting as uh, with respect to networking here here is the databases like we will be creating their autonomous databases then dedicated infrastructure okay what's the difference between shared autonomous and dedicated then it is related to exadata dedicated on a cloud at the customer then your 
DBCS, the database backups, okay, so all these services, the data safe, which will help you to understand the database security, okay. Then again, the databases, these are the open source databases, okay, the, the developer services, analytic services, then your identity, which comes under the domains, network prices, policies, everything we will be seeing, okay. And then your governments and administration, Okay, and then last one is your marketplace where you will be, suppose you want uh, to install any databases, okay, you don't want to create, you like uh, place everything, configure, so you can just go to your marketplace, okay, and uh, you can just type here, let me type a database, let me start, okay, so you can see here there are so many images, okay, this, these all are the template, okay, and we can just create and configure according to that. So these are we can configure here okay so let me show you if i am having any vm okay how how we can provision a vm and let me go to training okay so this is like which we can see this is a virtual machine created here okay which you can see this is the public ip address okay this is the private ip address we can log in using public ip address and then we can install our applications or whatever uh, software we wanted to install Okay, this is like Oracle Linux 8.7. Okay, and like this way we can configure, we can create the virtual machine and then we can stop and uh, we can just uh, start stop reboot whatever from the console. Okay, there is a cloud shell also. Okay, which we can manage the things uh, just like a command prompt. Okay, this is like a cloud shell from the OCI where we can create the services using the commands here. So, this also we will be seeing here. So any questions uh, anybody is having related to Oracle Cloud, how, how the training will be going. So it will be 100% hands-on training. Okay, you will be creating each and every services uh, manually uh, on the OCA console. And we will be seeing how we can deploy the infrastructure, okay, complete infrastructure on the uh, Oracle Cloud. So any questions guys, anybody? Okay, let me take you to the certification page again. Yeah, I need to just unmute them. So just give me a minute. Sure. So let me, till that I will explain you the certification path. Okay, so is, if you can see on the screen, okay, so for OCA administration, okay, there will be three certifications. So that will be very important. Okay, we can start with a foundation one then the architect associate and then the architect professional. For database related, uh, there will be different certification. For autonomous, there is a different set of services uh, certification. And for DBCS user managed database, this is, that is a different certification. This is completely dedicated to your OCA administrator track. Hi, good morning. I have one question, just I joined just few minutes back yeah. so oci uh, this is a oci is different and cloud db is different but course contained actually sorry for being led showing so i didn't get can you please clear so uh this is oci administration track okay where we will be focused on all the services on the oracle cloud side okay it means we will be covering compute networking your databases okay and your IAM, everything, and just like an admin, you will be creating, you will be maintaining your on premises environment. Okay. And here in OS Cloud DBA, you will be, your focus more will be on to database section only. You will be not only learning the basic concept of networking and all, but more focus into database side. Oh, got it. So these two uh, are the different, yeah. And next question will come in my mind. So after completing this course, so we are able to give the exam for OCI exam? Absolutely right. So these three certification, which I will be showing on the screen, okay, the mm. foundation one, associate one, and uh, professional one. These all mm. exams are free launched by Oracle, okay? Mm. So you can go, go with uh, that exam after completion of this training. Okay, mm -hmm. the foundation will, will be like free and it will mm -hmm. give you the 15 chances to clear the exam. Mm -hmm. okay, and the associate and the professional will be only one chances. Okay, so right now it is available free, but mm -hmm. after August 31st, the cost of each exam will be 22,000 plus CST, something like that. Okay, okay. So we have only one month left. Uh, Two months, July and August. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
so within two months we can complete this course and uh, absolutely uh, right okay. absolutely right okay okay got it uh so is there any option for migration also from on prem to oracle cloud uh, we will be covering the, all the migration methods like uh, how we can migrate how we can think from like a database point of view like uh, we will be covering that you know what okay yeah. so regarding this migration like uh, you are going from on premise to cloud right so you will be doing any hand on it on cloud or so we will be creating an oracle free trial account that will be available for 30 days with us okay we can create all the services and we can create a, uh we can do we can create a databases then we can create a sample file and we can migrate uh, from the object storage and all we will be learning through. so everyone so should be this free. migration is via like uh, you are doing any ext uh, like a, any table space method or like we are planning like that there will like yeah, Art there setup. will be uh, there will be methods like you can take a Harman backup, full Harman backup of your database. Okay, you can place on object storage. You can take uh, import export. Okay, you can migrate to database DBCS. You can migrate to autonomous. So there will be so many scenarios here. Okay, uh, regarding the services part, like uh, you shown in the image, right? Like, uh, mm -hmm. can you that uh, 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 the services the OCI which you showed? There okay. uh, we are covering. All the diagrams like you showed like we have a developer services iam services and uh, we have let a, me let me yeah. let me share my screen quickly so for this training okay let mm -hmm. me show you okay so so here we'll be covering this infrastructure plus databases so uh, this okay let me yeah. check it out the pointer option Okay, so this complete set of services will be there in this training. Okay, mm -hmm. this will be there. This will be there. Okay, this is not part of this training. Okay, okay. here it will be not part of this training. Okay, this will be mm -hmm. not a part of this training. And this will okay. be in part of not this. Training. So we will be going through the Terraform introduction. Okay, we will be seeing how to log into the Apex and all because it comes as a function for it from comes at a service in uh, which comes when we provision autonomous databases okay so we will be seeing how we can create mm -hmm. okay so that is comes under this training so this is so the, we will create one autonomous database and uh, uh, integrate this apex uh, right auto, auto apex will be automatically integrated with the autonomous we don't autonomous data yeah we, okay. we as a user we can just log in as a username and password to the apex environment and then we can build mm -hmm. the application there. So uh, just a question, like in this SaaS, like uh, we have an ERP, right? So this ERP is of like, uh, like we are using any like 12.2 or anything or just an ERP fusion or something. So normal uh, we can, we can, because uh, so uh, what I can say is like after like, uh, three to four years, yes. we have only SaaS. Correct, absolutely right. So I am working on the environment where we are having all the services, okay? So what exactly we are having? We are having Oracle Financial, Oracle HCM, Oracle HCM, okay? So we, we are using Oracle SaaS environment to deploy the data models, to deploy the reports, to schedule the jobs on the SaaS site, okay? And we have integrated our Oracle integrations uh, with the Oracle SaaS environment where we are running integration on the OIC site, okay, and they are pulling the files from the integrations uh, from source and they are putting the reports into the Oracle SaaS environment. Okay, so they are in, like interconnected with each other through Oracle okay. Service Network. Yeah. Okay, so here on ERP, we are integrating this HCM, HCM or sales or just like, uh, or ERP is different and all these models are different on SaaS? So no, these all are different. Okay, Oracle HCM is different. Oracle HCM is different. Okay, Oracle Financials <laughs> is different. Okay, there are so many modules in that Oracle SaaS. Okay, so mm -hmm. it, it's again the organization requirement or business requirement which module they will choose to create it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure all this said. Hey, Raul. Yeah, uh, Mohit, uh, like, uh, as you said, it should be a like practical based. So like, how we should going like we get some subscription or some passes like how so, we can so, so the in, in cloud. Okay, so you need to create a free trail account with Oracle. Okay, so basically, you will be needing your email ID. Okay, 
and uh, we will be uh, you will be needed one credit card okay so we will be helping you to create a free trail account with oracle there you can uh, get a 300 uh, us dollar or 400 singapore dollar and you can provision the services according to that uh, for the rest of the 30 days okay like same as as you we do like use the debit card um, absolutely right and uh, there will be no charge involved uh, for 30 days and once you will upgrade your account then only uh, oracle will start charging you until and unless you will click on upgrade option it will not going to charge you anything okay so we can do a lots of practical in this right absolutely all the services we will be doing in the practical nothing yeah. theoretical yeah like like we always want to learn practical only <laughs> Correct. That's so right. all the real time scenarios. Okay. Because I am carrying lots of hands on experience. Okay. I will share my experience how the scenarios will be uh, going in terms of project. So, okay. Real time. So that we will do here. Sure. Sure. And uh, can you just explain a little bit about migration? Like how, and you said about some EBS thing. Okay. So EBS is not a part of this thing. Okay. So, so, so we... sorry to interfere. Like, would you be able to guide us regarding the interviews also? Like, Absolutely, we will be covering uh, the interview questions also. We, uh, in the, each topic, we will be covering some certification questions also that will help you to clear the certification as well. Okay, okay so for each for each topic, there will be a certification questions at the end of the topic. Okay, so you will get an fair idea. Okay, like how how uh, the questions will be asked in the certification. Hello, sir. Also, Mohit, uh, the architect professional that we have, it's also covered in this our training. Uh, no, it is a completely different training, but we will be covering most of the services uh, from Hello, uh, professional way also. Right? So means architect associate, we all cover here, right? Yes, yes, sir, absolutely right. Okay, okay, yeah. Thanks a lot, uh, Mohit. And, and many the... of the services we will be covering uh, from professional point of view. Also, we will be covering. Hello, sir. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure, Mohit. I am with yeah, I have a question. I currently am working as Oracle DBA. So I can provide which or a cloud platform is the best for Oracle DBA. Can so I cannot I cannot commit here like which cloud platform is uh, best here, but if you go oh. with the Oracle Cloud here, okay. Uh -huh. So uh, it will help you to understand uh, the concepts in, in, in that in uh, Oracle terminology. Okay, and if you will carry the experience of Oracle Cloud with Oracle DB, it will be a very good opportunity to you. Okay. Oh, so uh, yes, yeah. What is the difference between Oracle Cloud and Oracle DB? Uh, so there will be so many opportunities in the market. Okay. So if you see Oracle DBA with a combination of any cloud, whether it will be Oracle Cloud or AWS. Which cloud, is the okay. best, sir? Oracle Cloud and Oracle DBA, which mm -hmm. is the best? So if we are learning here Oracle Cloud, so I will definitely say Oracle Cloud, okay, because I am working from last five years in Oracle Cloud, okay. I am working on Microsoft Azure also. I'm working on uh, like AWS also, not working on Google, but I can compare whatever services uh, we are getting in Oracle uh, Cloud is in terms of licensing, in terms of high availability, in terms of uh, the security that is not present in other cloud. This. In the present time, what is the scope of Oracle DBA and Oracle Cloud? Which is let the me, let me let me show both. you okay how how the job market is having. You can just search on the OC admin jobs on the Google okay, and you can just click on past three days. You will see the ample amount of opportunities like you can see here OC administration okay in Oracle okay mm -hmm. OC admin in Capgemini in CGI. So these are the big, big players at which you're looking for, like uh, Excelta machine, like DevOps plus OCA expert. So it will be a combination of DBA plus OCA, DevOps plus OCA kind of uh, thing. See, the Vodafone is also having the OCA cloud engineer openings in Delhi. Okay. There are ample amount of opportunities if you are talking about. Still, the market is not uh, good uh, in terms of IT, but still there are opportunities uh, uh, for the cloud. Thanks, Mohit, for clearance. Yeah, uh, sorry for interrupting. This is the Rajesh. Hey, so, Rajesh. yeah. So, what is the difference between uh, Oracle Cloud and AWS Cloud? 
so there is difference in terms of uh, services okay if you are talking about you want a excel data kind of environment okay which is not present in aws okay so there are difference in terms of services okay there are some services which will be present in aws but not present in oracle okay so every, every vendors will have uh, advantage and disadvantage right but many of the customers who are already there on the or with the oracle databases and all they will prefer to go with oracle cloud only in because like many things comes into picture when we are talking about moving into cloud okay the licensing part the support part and all the things okay and the important factor is oca in terms of cost is much cheaper than your aws and azure Okay, so means for this uh, uh, cost uh, cost uh, perspective, mm -hmm. so means uh, Oracle Cloud is the cheaper than AWS. Absolutely right. If you will compare the Oracle databases cost on uh, with OC Oracle Cloud and on other cloud vendors, you will see the difference here. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, Mohit, and uh, last one question. Uh, uh, and can we get anything about multi cloud here, like uh, just basic things? Yeah, like, basic introduction. Yeah, like last, because, yeah. Yeah, so Oracle Cloud has recently started a partnership with Microsoft Azure. Yeah, Azure, yeah. Okay, and they have started with a new certification, Microsoft uh, OCI Interconnect uh, Multi Cloud Associate Certification. So we will discuss these things in our training, like what are the things, how we can connect to clouds and all. Okay, just an introduction to that. Yeah, because, and Mohit, uh, yeah, yeah, Mohit, when you will be started the training? uh that we that um, push uh, or like the team will get back to you uh okay, okay. the whatsapp channel yeah definitely okay thank you thank you uh, hello Mayit, uh, Baldar here uh, actually i'm just a 1.5 uh, old year kid with the oracle database code database so i'm not aware of rack and all so is this the uh, uh, good time to opt this uh, training or do I need to have any background before the... No, so for this training, you don't require any kind of uh, like prerequisite or like any kind of background. Just you need a basic things like what exactly the virtual machine, meaning what is databases, what is networking and all. Then like we will be covering each and every service from the scratch only. So okay. nothing required much. Okay. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Uh, Mohit, backup also we are going to take as a part of OCA training? Absolutely right. So we will be covering the backup of your virtual machine. We will be taking the backup of your databases, how we can take a backup of your storage So everything we will be covering. Okay. Thanks a lot. Hello. In this field, requirement of Kali Linux? Sorry. I want to tell you just, uh, I want to tell you in this field, requirement of uh, Kali Linux, SQL. So Kali Linux is, uh, you can uh, import uh, on OCI, you can create a virtual machine using Kali Linux. Okay, so that, that you can do it on the OCI. Uh, hi Mohit, uh, Tushar this side. Uh, what will be the timings for the uh, lectures? Uh, that will be communicated by the team later in the group. Okay, okay. Whether it is a weekday or a weekend, I just want to know. That, uh, that, that we need to discuss uh, based on the, like, uh, all the, like, uh, participants. Okay, that, then it will be communicated to you via group. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Mohit, can we get the in-detail uh, syllabus, like, what you're going to cover all this? Absolutely, like yes. So I will uh, ask your team to share the detailed syllabus. What are the services and what are the uh, topics with industry, each and every services? Uh, so you will get a fair idea, like what are the things. Yeah, it would it would be good, like what we can learn here. Absolutely, yes, you will be. So we will be covering whole syllabus of, uh, as we will be going through aspect Oracle syllabus. Okay, keeping in mind uh, the certification point and the uh, interview point also. Okay, okay, yeah. Because OCA, like Oracle University also started uh, those giving the free trainings. Absolutely, just wanted yes. to compare like what we're going to uh, get new things and like so, what so we... Our syllabus is uh, up to date with the, what Oracle University is uh, offering here. Okay, we will be following the same syllabus what Oracle is offering. So don't worry about it. We will be up to date with the market here. Sure, sure, sure. Mate. Thanks a lot. Thank you. How it will be helpful for the fresher, sir? Sorry, Mahesh. Sir, I'm a fresher. Just uh, recently I have completed my graduation and how it will be helpful for me. 
So, uh, like, if you are a fresher, like, you know, the market which is going into the cloud side, right? So, it will definitely a plus point if you will be taking, uh, like, knowledge into cloud, okay, in the OCI or any other uh, cloud vendors, okay, it's always a key advantage uh, on, on the uh, site which will be looking, uh, like, you are a fresher, like, you will be searching job. So, it will be, again, an advantage to you, like, you are having a well-versed with all the services on the cloud. But apart from that, I didn't know about uh, database and uh, backups. Don't worry about it. We will be covering each and everything. Okay. Thank you. You sir. need to start it at any point, right? Whether you are a fresher or whether you are experienced, correct? Yeah, okay. Sir. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so yeah. when, when we are going to start this Hello. learning, actually, actually. In, actually. Of in the comment time, what did the effect on AI on this Oracle database affected? Uh, sorry. Uh, this is Ram actually. Hello. Hey, Ram. Can... Yeah, Ram. Tell me. So, so when you are going to start exact time, training uh, and time, because this, we are working. This, this we need to discuss today uh, with the team. Okay. Because oh. like based on the participants and how they can join. Okay. We will communicate with you. Okay. And we need to think about timing as well because we are working. Absolutely. Yes. So keeping in mind about uh, working professional, we will, will be starting our batches accordingly. Sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Hi, I was like, no. So I, 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 I directly joined the group. Mm -hmm. And so like, uh, no, if you want to like, no, but like cloud DB, like what other things need to be uh, known about like, so, this, market, uh, so uh, if you are talking especially about cloud db okay so you are you are doing uh, everything like on your own premises like creating databases maintaining it performance tuning you are patching you are upgrading everything right so as a cloud db also you need to be responsible for each and everything okay whatever you are doing same thing on cloud how, how it behaves how you can create databases well, just like uh, for an example, on a pre on on premises kind of environment where you will be responsible to install Oracle databases, you need to set a background parameters. You need to decide operating system. Okay, there are so many things like you. You need to take a help from Linux team to create the file system and all things. Okay, so it will take time to do the activity, right? But on the cloud, you can easily create a databases uh, in like fraction of minutes. Okay, it will yeah. be completely Oracle will help you. Uh, so. So that way you can learn and you can go ahead with the cloud environment. No, uh, this, is, this is right pop like no more to the cloud DBA like no sir, I'm already working with DBA only. Uh, I have experience on track and uh, data code and uh, core DBA. Mm -hmm. So uh, whether I'm choosing the right path to like you know, upgrade my skill or uh, do Absolutely right. So in, uh, every customer right. is uh, preferring to move into uh, cloud right now. Okay. So they are uh, like slowly, slowly, every customers are moving from on premises to cloud environment. Okay. The basic benefit behind cloud is like you can access the cloud environment from everywhere. Okay. You can use, you can pay whatever you are using it. Okay. If you don't require any kind of environment, you can just go and uh, terminate the environment. So that kind of flexibility. Okay. You can increase your storage. You can increase your CPUs. Okay. Without getting a downtime. So that are the benefits that the customer is looking for. Okay, that's the reason they are going into cloud. So are you able to like, you know, like uh, once uh, complete the training, are you able to like uh, go and handle this? Uh, like I can, I can go and say that I'm say Oracle Cloud DB. Absolutely, yes. So by completing this training, you will be 100% uh, going to do everything on the practical side. Okay, you can write in your resume, like you have done this, 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 and. Uh, it will be completely the same environment which you will be learning doing into your real time. Uh, yeah, well, that's question. And, and, and do I need anything prerequisite for to the no, no, this course? No, no prerequisite. Only you need to create a free trial account with your email ID and debit card or credit card. Mostly credit card only. Only this is the prerequisite. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So any more questions? Uh, hello, this is Rahul here. Hey Rahul. Yeah. Uh, so actually I've completed my uh, graduation in 2019 from civil background, like civil yeah. engineer. I'm. And uh, so I've got some interest in OCI right now. 
and mm-hmm. uh, the thing is that i don't know if uh, there are there are some networking parts also right and mm-hmm. uh, i have not been into like i i i'm i don't have any knowledge about networking mm-hmm. so how much do i need to know before i start oci because there are some networking parts also i have mm-hmm. seen that you have to create vc and subnets and all so i don't understand that that we will help you to understand the things okay like don't worry about it like we will be going to each in uh, like all the concepts in a granular way okay so we will be creating all the services we will be learning all concepts from the scratch only okay and how about the doubt solving like if i'm having some doubt so how you would be solving it is is it going to be live or after the lectures no it will be live only okay so okay. we will be creating all the services uh, in the live session only okay and when you say that uh, you would be giving hands on experience like how is it going to be we are going to create ourselves like computers absolutely. instances absolutely. and all absolutely we will be creating a oracle cloud account okay and uh, i will guide you how to create all the services on the cloud so this will be complete hands on training only okay and is there going to be any project after the uh, course like uh, so that we could be adding up in our uh, resume or something so like that every 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 services which we will be going through okay so after completion of that services okay just like uh, i will help you to create a, a virtual machine okay okay then i will help you to create a network okay then we will be taking a short project like uh, deploy a, a apache server on a virtual machine okay deploy a web logic mm-hmm. server on virtual so likewise you can uh, mention on your resume Uh, and uh, and do i have to know about all this like apache server and web logic and all of that uh, no, no, ebs that application basic, and not that are that is the, the basic things like we will be covering it okay but later if you wanted to explore more about the applications and all you can do it acha and and do i need to know about oracle db also oracle database related stuff also because i am a total fresher Like, yeah, for Oracle DBA related, like you. No, no, for OCI, a... for OCI, like for in order for me to learn OCI, do I need to know Oracle database also? Or no, 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 no. We will be covering here. Okay, for going oh. into more deep into DBA part, you need to contact like the team or I'm sure like somebody they will be taking the DBA part. Okay, fine. But the basic things you will be covering, right? Absolutely, yes, correct. Okay, and, fine. And one more, and one more thing. Uh, so. This is like you no know, only for only cloud DBA or uh, it's like you no know, people. Know this will right? this training is not related to cloud DBA. This training is more focused into OCI admin side. Okay, so it will be covered uh, all the services in detail. Oh, uh, how about you know on uh, Araku full stack DBA? No, on uh, you also uh, part of this. That right? that, that no, that is not a part of this training. The full stack DBA in the cloud. That is a completely different track. Araku, see, I have seen that you no know, Unix and SQL, uh, 4DBA, Rack, and uh, Golden Gate, and after that, the final step will be Cloud DBA, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That that is a completely different track. Absolutely. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, Ankur, this side. Uh, so yeah, for we have introduced one more track here. We called it as a Oracle Full Stack uh, uh, DBA, okay. basically, in which we cover from the very beginning, like uh, we start from the SQL. the people who are coming from the non technical background and mm-hmm. if they want to switch their career from non technical to technical so for them we are uh, taking a training from the beginning like uh, we start with the sql linux oracle dba rack dba golden gate and this oci is also included in that so uh, to get more information about it uh, you can check out with my team they will give you the idea like how you can kick start with this oracle full stack dba so this is also the part of full stack this oci training is also the part of full stack only but uh, like i mean like uh, in oracle uh, full stack uh, what are you covering the because you also include the oci also in the oracle correct. full stack correct it is right? there it is there in full stack then, oci uh, yeah you will be covering the whole uh, topic in this uh, in oracle full stack correct correct same, yeah, we'll the, same, the same we'll discuss on the oracle oci right the same will be no, no. discussed on oracle full stack also no so try to understand one thing that oracle full stack when we say it includes the multiple training of oracle like your oracle dba rack dba golden gate and including this oci also but there are some people they don't want to go with the uh, sql linux oracle db and rack db they are just enrolling for the oci side so this is the training for them 
but if you are enrolling for full stack we have a dedicated but again like i don't want to get confused over here uh, do one thing just check with my team okay they will give you the heads up they will screen share and they will tell you uh, how the program will work okay and on a how about the how about the duration for this oca um amit can give the answer the uh, duration will be near about uh, approximately 32 hours 32 uh, hours no 32 hours means i uh, i'm confused like how many uh, months like one or two months because before 31st august uh, we have to give that exam right it is free after that they no, like, charge uh, many yeah absolutely yes uh, so keeping in mind okay we will try to complete this training uh, by the end of july okay so that you will get a complete one month to clear the certifications okay got it yeah. and uh, so this 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 course of yours it also includes oci migration and everything right yeah we will guide you like how we can uh, what are the methods for migrations and all we will give you the demo also okay, okay. so that you will get a fair idea about it yeah got it thank you thank you and one more thing like you know like i just want to like uh, have an idea about it like one of my colleague one of my relatives uh, he is from the uh, commerce background mm-hmm. and uh, he is not uh, like no uh, he's not further to like you know, go for uh, any high studies so mm-hmm. what i suggest i have, i have seen your profile and uh, so you be have in the first stack dba right Mm-hmm. Uh, if he if he learns this full stack DBA, whether he can able to work on IT field because you no know, he is totally coming from the background field right, commerce field right because you no know, I have an experience. So, so you can reach out to team actually. Okay, no. so team will help you uh, to understand the thing in better way. So you can reach no, out that, to team. No, no, that is why actually uh, I am also coming from the background uh, BCom and then I uh, completed MC. So I have been no. around three years or that. Yeah, so, there are many. Yeah. There are. Uh, so let me talk about that see there are many examples we have in our training center uh, especially i'll tell you two examples uh, two candidates coming from the biotechnology one candidate is coming from bsc uh, agri I, i believe so we have successfully migrated them from uh, this non technical background to the technical and now they are working in the mumbai location as oracle dba so that is the reason we have started that full stack oracle dba so that a person coming from non technical if he don't know anything if he don't know what is sql also <laughs> if you want to go into the it industry you need to understand this sql linux uh, so by looking to this uh, scenario only we started that full stack again uh, you can reach out to us we will guide you like uh, uh, about the duration and other things okay thank you thank you any more questions yeah i am mohit this is shravan hey shravan yeah uh, so as we discussed earlier uh, it will be part of that uh, migrating to one environment or local uh, to the cloud right we will be have the uh, training session as well for the thing so for the same thing we will be having that patching on the standalone on rack and upgrading as well so no so rack will be completely different track but we will be covering the patching to the single instance how we can apply the patches to the single instance databases so standalone we will be having the specific for the thing, right because you will be not able to create a rack environment in a oracle free tier account or extra data uh, uh, kind of environment in the oracle free tier account okay that is only thing we can cover from a theoretical part point of view Oh, okay. We will be get the tra- session for Correct. the uh, theoretical knowledge of the uh, rack. Absolutely, rack and extra data because these are the services which is costlier services from Oracle. Okay, and we, Oracle is not going to give these services uh, to do the POC and all things. So that is the reason. Same as for the patching and operation as well. Right? Patching, patching. We will be going through it. Okay, the patching hundred percent. We can do it. Like how to apply the patches and all. We will be going through it. Uh, can I know about that upgradation as well? We will be get or absolutely yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, actually, one more like no, so uh, now I I like to switch over the organization now, lah, uh, because by switching the organization, I need to upgrade my skill, lah, uh, in a OCA, and uh, so will I will I able to like you no know, go out and work on without hands on experience on OCA, ah. Uh, after connect me into after after connect me after uh, uh, learning your interview like after learning your course can i able to directly go and work on it 
because i don't really have any experience so after the, after uh, completion of this training you will 100% are able to work on oci things oci services okay after completion of this training because all the services we will be covering here are uh, hands on so you will be creating all the services by your own in your account Okay. So this is kind of a DBA kind of data structure. So I like a some something kind of like SAP basis kind of functional models like this. No, there are no kind of function. All are technical related. Your databases, your virtual machines, networks, storage, everything like that. Okay, there are no kind models of... here. Uh, I can understand that no, uh, sir. Actually, uh, you can work on it like you know we don't need to believe on uh, Unix and the storage and so be fine. The same thing is the uh, part of OSI, right? Absolutely. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I hope there are no more questions. So, uh, there's uh, only one last question. Uh, yeah. I wanted to ask: Do you do you give a uh, job interview assistance also after the completion? Uh, the team team will definitely provide you the job assistance. A like, uh, team, uh, as in which team? Like OCI team, or do you have any dedicated uh, team for this? Uh, Ankush, can you uh, help me? Sorry. Uh, Ankush, Ankush yeah. can help you. Yeah, we will be helping you. Okay. Okay, fine. Thank you. So uh, I believe there are no more questions. So thank you for joining the today's session. Okay, and looking forward to have you all in the session. So thanks, Mohit. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, thanks everyone. Thank you. And thank those people you. who are interested to join this training, okay, again, uh, I hope you everyone enjoyed it. So you can reach out to us and we'll be starting this training. We already got, uh, I see nine admission, I think so. So we already got few admissions. Uh, we are just waiting for another four or five admissions and we'll kickstart this uh, journey. Okay. Ankush, and like, like, what is the tentative means date? Like when you are planning and when we get this labels for whole thing? Uh, syllabus, you'll get it today only. So yeah, it, yeah. Uh, uh, now coming to this, when we are going to start, most probably we are planning to start by uh, this uh, July start, uh, first week, we are planning to start. But if I get the admission um, as early, then we'll start early also, okay? Because the long weekend is coming. <laughs> yeah, I do understand. <laughs> Even <laughs> I also get. So don't worry, you know, uh, training and all, like you people know that we are uh, quite older in this uh, Oracle technologies and we have the best result. We already have a YouTube channel uh, with the Lanomet technologies. Uh, those people who are quite new to this uh, YouTube channel, please go there, check out a lot of videos are there completely free of cost. And uh, so don't worry, you know, uh, we always try to deliver the best and that's the reason we have good name, good faith in the market. Only the thing is yeah. when to start, we are going to start it very soon. <laughs> just give some. Yeah, Uncle, very just soon. give some highlight about the fees, uh, later on fees and slabers and when we you're going to start. About that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because just, just join the group, okay? Uh, uh, yeah. Talk with my team. They will give you all the details. Syllabus we will share with you today only, okay? Yeah. So yeah. as yeah. soon as you do the admission, we will start it, okay? That's yeah, all. Because risk. Because recently I have seen like the fees a little bit uh, high like, as per like, <laughs> the <laughs> yeah, market. To be frank. <laughs> yeah, the market to be fr is... we'll see like uh, what we can do. Okay. Yeah, because you, we have just started the OCI and like later on, like maybe you can do. <laughs> so usually, what we do, like the people who are already uh, the part of our training, like Oracle DBA rack and other things. Okay. We try to make them some discount. Okay, we try like that. But the people who are some simply new for us, uh, for them, uh, the challenges will be there. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, what we can do based in that. Okay. Sure, Ankush. We definitely look forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot. Ankush, uh, Ankush, are going to like no. You will be teaching the Oracle Cloud or uh, no? Uh, Mohit, Mohit will take the Oracle Cloud. I do take the training on Oracle DB, Rack DB, all those I'll take SQL and Linux. All this I'll take in. Okay, okay. Uh, but whenever yeah, you yeah, get yeah. uh, any heads up from my side, uh, feel free. Like we, I'm always moving from here to there. All, uh, always I'm doing like that. So don't worry, okay. Uh, you might have understood from this one hour of sessions, like uh, he is having uh, a good expertise with the Oracle Cloud. And personally, I have seen him. So he's good, okay? Don't worry about that. And the people who are working with us, they're always better. We always see uh, about their background and all. 
Yeah. Okay. Ankush, and when we can meet personally, like yesterday, I, day before I came to your office, but you are not. Well, there. I was not there. Yeah, I call Harshals. <laughs> Friday on uh, evening, I think you are more at somewhere. As I have told. Uh, usually, I'll be there by eleven to five, uh, but sometimes I'll be in meeting. So uh, you can come today. I'll be there. I will try. Want. I will try. I'll yeah, definitely call you and, and, hmm. and because I live nearby. Uh, Okay. okay. This is uh, one one thing. Actually, this is purely uh, no like uh, uh, I I let me join. Uh, this is purely uh, on uh, no on cross or like no like 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 live one. No, I didn't get you. No, no. The thing is like you no. Know, uh, this is about a, a, a live class or uh, this is on, on like no oh, in person you need to come actually. Because, you know, like, no, no, no. It's a online class. Online online live class. Yeah, because I came from out of from Tamil Nadu actually. That is what I. No, no, no. We do have I, both I, the I, trainings. We have live classes also. Miss, that is live classes in Pune location, and we have online classes are also available. Both the things are there. Okay. How how about the material and how about like you know they suppose they suppose uh, we 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 are in two twenty four seven right. Uh, so if you have missed the classes, means like okay, we can we'll have. We'll get the recordings. Uh, the recordings will be there. Okay. Every session we will record. We will give three months of access. Okay, for the recordings. Okay. Okay. So oh, the whole no, the for the whole uh, session for the whole uh, the process we 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 have the three month record session, right? Yeah. Whatever records we, we whatever the things we are recording, uh, we are giving for three months of access. Means okay. we can't download or like no. We only uh, download stream. is download is strictly provided. Okay, But you okay. can stream it. You can stream it. Okay. 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 But but the thing is like you know like see like uh, about the we are working the shift if you are not able to like you know we will be getting the no, that whole. That is the reason uh, we are giving. That is the reason we are giving it for certain period. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, let's connect in the class. Thanks. Bye bye. Thanks, Mohit. Thank you. Thank you.